YouTube, we back. We're doing pretty good. Um, yesterday we did worked out a little bit on the truck. We got some stuff done. I didn't get a chance to record, but we are gonna pick it up today. Um, let me go ahead and show you what we got going on. So we got the box painted. You know, there's the port where the base is gonna be coming out. Sorry about the glare. Um, we got some panels wrapped. Um, we're putting everything in right now. Um, actually, the mission for today is loading these subs and hopefully trying to load the mids and highs like the 10 here and then the tweeter here today but um you know this is the box what it looks like i have to actually got to join it if you can see there's screw holes right there where you connect the box to each other so they can share the window space or the airspace through the windows and then you know that opening right there it gets lit on the back so i can load the two subs you know fairly easy but I got to join all the boxes. You see all the screw holes right there. You got to join them up, then load the subs, and then load these guys up. Probably won't get to hear it for another week, but if we can load the subs up so we can put the front lid on, and then, you know, put these front panels and get this right here done. So at least the back's already going, so then I just got to do the doors. Um, console's almost done getting painted. I actually got to wrap the piece that goes right here, and then I think for the back we should be done. So for right now, we're gonna go ahead. Started. We're gonna go ahead and use the inch and five eighths uh, screws, you know, so it'll hold uh, real nice and tight. We gotta use a hammer drill because we'll make sure to get some of them in, and then just a regular drill. The battery's charging on that guy. Um, the clamp, if we gotta, you know, get it to get it closer together, we pinch it. Um, we got a screwdriver in case we need to get in those um, crazy corners, and you know, we'll probably have to use it in there and on top. I mean, I think we should be pretty good. Hopefully soon I can hire a cameraman so I can be able to get better videos, but here we go. We got the screws in. Let me tell you what, if you do stuff like this, you do not need the gym. Man, my arms are hurting, but we got them all in. You know, if we want to be jamming, we got to take a little bit of pain. So next, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and drill some holes and then silicone the, the speaker wire that we're going to feed through it. That's going to be the sub wire. I got a fairly thick, you know, wire so, you know, it can, you know, pull a good little amount of uh, power to the subs so we don't have no complaints. And um, load these subs up and then put the lid on it and then you'll start, you know, going from there. So let me go get these subs so I, I can show you what I got. I introduce you to the heart of the, the system, the 412 CBR-12s. Man, these subs, the good box like this guy right here that we're doing, man, these things are gonna knock. Um, we're doing 10 gauge for the subs. Um, we gotta wire them down to a two ohm load because we're putting the kicker 2500.1 on them and so they can produce the, the most. I'm gonna go ahead and unbox you know, one so you guys can see the sub and then open it. You know, you got the kicker sticker. Do not return product to the store. The manual will explain some stuff and this is the sub let's take it over here so this is the kicker cbr you know black base the rubber you know red stitching you know that's the magnet you know a lot of you probably used to those sundowns the crescendos and you know the DD drive subs and everything with the big old magnets but you don't need those big ass magnets to, to get down i'm going to show you um how we do around here you see it has a dual voice coil red dot black dot solid black red um we got to wire this until we can uh get them down to uh one ohm probably and then bridge them back up to two ohm so they can work with the amp until the amp don't cut out. So that's what we're gonna do right now. So we're gonna pre-wire all four subs and then you know put them inside that box. Screw them down, put the lid, and call it a day on the speaker box and check that off the list. And then next we gotta mount all the panels down and you know go from there. Man, all you gotta do is subscribe. We're gonna be doing a lot of stuff like this. You know, turn on that notification bell and subscribe. Man, th this is only the beginning. And hopefully we can put a lot of these subs in a lot of cars in the in the future. All you gotta do is subscribe. And you know we'll work on a few people's cars, show different installs in different type of cars, 
and show you what these subs you know my other favorite sub is the JL Audio W3 and W7s W7s that's the king of them all you know but I love kicker amps you know and then JL subs but kicker subs are still badass you know so I'm going to show you what these guys can do Wiring them up. I already got one sub in, two subs in, and you know this is actually the back of the box. Um, the jumper from that sub to this one, I gotta connect them together, and you know they're back there. The wire that comes right here. You gotta do the same thing over here, and then put that front lid on. So let's get on it. Now, what you think so far? Comment down below. If you think that's, you know, damn, I didn't even paint the top of that, but anyways, you won't ever see it. Um, what you think? Comment, subscribe, do whatever. Let me know what you think. Do you think it's going to jam? Do you think it's going to sound all right? And I like the port goes through there, bam. The bass goes through there. It comes out through the front. All right, the subs are in all four. They're in phase, they're ready to rock and roll. Some things are about to get it. But now we need to put the front lid. And like I said, we'll never be able to see the subs. The only thing that will come right there is the, the port, you know, the base. You know, we'll just travel up. There's a tunnel that goes from there and it goes up. But that's what it looks like. We got them all in phase, ready. We're about to put this lid. I just wanted to show you what it could look like. You know, if it had plexiglass, it looked pretty cool. But we're not doing any of that, so, man. You're about to feel the, the real pressure. Once again, you gotta subscribe and watch. As you can see, it's coming. Through. It's real sunny out here, but I mean, you get the picture. You see, look, that's where the, 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 the base is gonna come out of only. You'll never see the, the subs. Look, I'm, hopefully, I can get the seat done this weekend. The fiberglass console should be ready by Monday. It's going to get painted anything right there in the middle. But you see it. You know, it's, it's about to go down. I got a fiberglass that where the TV's going and a stripper pole. But we're making progress. You know, trust the, the, the process that we get done. Yeah. Wait till the next video. But this is what we got going on today. We loaded the subs, wrapped some panels, put them on. We still got to mount them. But, you know, there's tens, tweeters, nitrous tanks going right there in that flat area in front of the the port. You know, you got tens, eights, and tweeters. You know, the, the console got some mids, too. There's going to be tweeters going right there on the front. But you see it. You know, don't be scared to subscribe. It's about to get real. Look at that. That green's no joke. And that's how we end the video today. Let me know what you think in the comments.